Well, hello, my fabulous friends. I hope you're doing well. Well, I just did the predictions for uh, if if the Republicans win and are inaugurated. And now I'm going to do the predictions if the Democrats are inaugurated in January 2025. And um, what I'm doing is I'm just telling the cards, the party, the team that wins uh, are inaugurated uh, in 2025. I believe it's going, we already believe it's going to be a very tight race. I've done a couple of readings. Trump wins, Trump's not winning, and Trump wins again by a hair. And it's going to be recounted. And I don't think we're going to know the winner until 2025. And uh, that doesn't mean that the Democrats lost. It just means maybe we'll hear first that Trump wins and they do a recount and the Democrats win. I'm just covering all my bases. <laughs> so I'm just going to clear the last reading. I've already done a little bit of that. The cards were quite jumpy in the last reading. And uh, let's see what's going to happen. This, remember, this is a prediction. I'm a Canadian. I don't watch Fox News. Joe Biden has more MAGA hats than I do. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I, I, I'm only doing predictions. I'm just a card reader. All right, everybody calm down. So what's going, what, what is the prediction? What will happen? What are the prediction if the Democrats are inaugurated in January 2025? Very interesting prediction for uh, Trump there. Um, some surprising, some isn't. What are the predictions if the Democrats are inaugurated in 2025 what are the predictions if the democrats are inaugurated these are just okay they're ready look how jumpy these cards are it's almost as if like they've been waiting for me to ask this question lies deception and uh to be fair the other team got that as well new rules policies law duties keep quiet big city Controlled narrative. Interesting. We're getting a lot of repetitive here. Assistance help on new rules and policies and laws. I wonder if there's going to be new rules and policies and laws about uh, marriage, about couples, um, about assistance and help. So that could be medical, uh, social, that kind of thing. Because that's on the new rules, policies and laws, assistance and help. Uh, Rocket SpaceX duties keep quiet. Oh, there's the Elon. Rockets and SpaceX duties keep quiet. And evidence of a scandal, big city. Ooh, evidence of a scandal. And we had that in the other one as well. So no matter what team wins, the other one is going to be digging up some pretty dirty stuff. And I'm wondering... Now, I didn't, I read this as, as Trump in New York. You know how I'm reading this one with the big city and the glasses and everything, evidence of a scandal. I wonder if they're going to go after Biden's son. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I don't know why they would. Maybe to discredit Biden somehow. Um, or maybe to discredit maybe some of the people living in New York, the uh, Trumps. I don't know why I just was getting a, I, what's his name again? That's how much I know. That's how much I pay attention. Interesting that Elon showed up here and not in, in the Republicans because Elon's supporting the Republicans. I wonder if they're just going to let duties keep quiet. I wonder if, I wonder if Elon's just going to keep quiet, right? Because we're asking a prediction. Food shortage. What the hell? Food shortage, cyclone damage. I wonder, cyclone damage and food. I wonder if this has to do with the southeast flooding that has gone on. Um, worldwide earth and social media. Okay, so I, I know some of you aren't going to like that I'm going to say this. 
is that I think this will be the WEF will be will be controlling some things. I think there's going to be I think there's going to be uh, some anger about the the hurricanes that have gone through and created food shortages in uh, the the southeast part there. And I honestly think there's going to be something with the they're going to double down on the WE and the F, especially here with new rules, policy, policies, laws, assisted help, food shortage, worldwide earth. Um, we're going to see a lot of maybe who uh, World Health Organization coming in, um, the CDC and interesting that somewhat ties into what if the Republicans come in and they're going to going to point a finger at why there's another outbreak and I wonder if that's going to come in. Um, social media. Oh yeah, they're social media darlings. Not only social media, they're media. Me I think it's just really going to ramp up. Compromised, harmful, fire, heat wave, public life burnout, banking and currency, uprising, rebellion. All right. They, it's, it's crazy how it's a little bit different. Now, I can't come out and say, oh, there's going to be many more fires if the Democrats win. I mean, that's crazy talk, right? Same thing with, oh, like, there's going to be more hurricanes if the Democrats win or, or tornadoes. No, I'm not saying that at all. What this means, fire, heat wave, um, I'm thinking that, I'm, I'm getting that more people will be fired from, from their work and this public life burnout, banking currency, compromised, harmful, uprising, rebellion. And I'm thinking that has something to do with the South, with the food shortage and the cyclones and I think they're going to go I think they're going to go hard on climate change as well we have fire heat wave we have the cyclone worldwide I think they're going to go a lot harder on the um, climate change and I think that uh, I think it's going to be harmful to the people who are already struggling because we got this public life burnout and this compromised, harmful, and uprising rebellion. Um, I think they're 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 gonna go. I think they'll be. I'm getting like job losses and and people. Uh, there's gonna be food shortages, and people are gonna start to really become angry. And this uprising rebellion heavy burdens heavy burdens housing issues housing issues so many people disappointing outcome and then a good outcome i wonder what disappointing outcome and then a good outcome wow Let me just think a minute here what this disappointing outcome then good outcome could possibly mean. I'm hoping it's, uh, I'm just wondering housing issues, so many people, disappointing outcome. Um, I'm wondering, here in Canada, the, uh, the, the far left have uh, turned around and, and said, oh, we, we have to halt immigration. And I'm wondering if something like that's going to happen because we got the heavy burdens, housing issues, so many people, disappointing outcome. I wonder if they're going to do a, a pivot on that as well and say, oh, yeah, we've we've got it. It's we're so disappointed. This is um, so many people that we've got housing issues. This is a big burden. People are uprising about it like they are in Canada right now. And uh, people are disappointed this is happening. And then they're going to try and do something to turn it around. That's what I'm getting. Spreading, mutating, citing disclosure. Ooh, tsunami rising water, distraction, illusion, rulership handover. 
Wow, we didn't get that with the Republicans. So I'm wondering whoever has voted in as the uh, president for the Democratic Party, uh, sometime during their reign, they uh, a new person comes in. Interesting, look at all the weather phenomenon we have here. Tsunami, rising water. Now we got the sighting disclosure, uh, spreading, mutating. I think I'm wondering if, because I'm hearing, like, that's aliens. So is that illegal aliens? Um, and the tsunami, the rising water is is the rising tide. People are, are kicking back from it. Um, and it's just a distraction illusion. I'm one, this is a very, very interesting rulership handover. Interesting because we got the Republicans, we got the royal family. And I said, uh, Trump's going to bring in a lot of his family members because that's all he'll be able to trust. And interesting, I think, I'm wondering if there's going to be um, something that there, that, that's, who's ever the Democrat who's sworn in doesn't finish their, their four years. I wonder, for whatever reason, right? Doesn't say why. It'll, I think... Tsunami, rising water, and spreading, mutating, sighting, disclosure. I wonder if there's going to be some kind of crazy, um, with this sighting and disclosure, spreading, mutating, tsunami, rising water. I'm wondering if there's going to be some kind of really bizarre uh, scandal. And that's what we do, a, 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 a rulership handover happens. So I think there's they're going to also be dealing with the same problems that the Republicans are. I think they're going to look at it from a different point of view um, and that it's, you know, housing and too many people. And, you know, yeah, we got to get control of these borders. And I think the Republicans are going to say, yeah, they're bringing in all these medical issues. So we have to get rid of them. So I think they're they're almost on the same page with that. It's just they're going to come at it from a different point of view. I think that, uh, I mean, this is interesting. Hunter, that's his name, Hunter. Evidence of a, of a scandal. I wonder if something is going to come out after that as, you know, because daddy can't, can't, uh, can't protect him anymore. And I wonder if that's going to be something that kind of rocks them right after they get inaugurated kind of thing. Because it starts. The minute the one team is inaugurated, the other team is is starting their election platform. <laughs> that's the way it seems. You guys just, just never, ever stop campaigning. And I think that's going to happen. Uh, so that's that's the way I see it. I think... I think um, yeah, get ready for some new rules. I think the, the the Democrats are going to be ruled more so by the WEF, by HOW, or WHO, um, UN, all those policies and, and whatnot. Um, I think they're going to clamp down on that. I think they're going to really push the climate. We got three climate cards here, so that tells me they're going to really push climate change, um, but it's all a distraction, illusion. And I think um, we'll see a rulership handover before the four years is up. All right. So that's my prediction, not my opinion. All right. <laughs> Everybody calm down. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Please take good care. See you online. Bye for now.